just partied real hard last night. Come on, guys, it's time for breakfast. Come on. Yay, look at all of you guys. Come on. Your tummy looks like you already had five breakfasts. Jessica Hoyne might just have the best job ever. You're so sweet. Are you ready for a busy day? Yeah, girl. Good job, girlfriend. She's the cafe manager and unofficial cat wrangler at Philia's Cat Cafe. You are so sweet. It's an inventive nonprofit located on the western edge of Omaha's downtown, serving up equal parts coffee and cuddles. Philia's is the first and only cat cafe in our state, and that we have celebrated our one year anniversary with over 100 cats adopted within that first year is pretty amazing. I feel like that's an amazing thing for a first year nonprofit. But before the cafe opens for business, Hoyne spends some quality time with the cats. Every day starts attending to the crazy kittens in this room. They need food, they need water, they need their litter pans cleaned. Keeping this room tip top, sanitized and clean is so essential. It's essential to their health, their happiness, of course, our health and happiness. I try to get everything done to spend enough time with them before we open for the day. It helps me grow connected, have a little connection with the kitties and with the cats, get to know their personalities. I almost feel a little bit like a human and cat matchmaker. I know which cats could go well with which personalities. They're all completely different. Some of them come in here really shy and timid. Some come in just ready to party 24 seven and you just get to know their sweet, different personalities. The concept of cat cafes first became popular in Japan, but the trend has taken root in the U.S. in recent years. The goal is to revolutionize the cat adoption experience and educate the community through interaction. Hi. You have pretty eyes. With a full-service coffee bar, patrons can sip on a latte in the cafe and watch the cats through a large window. Or for a few dollars, they can take their coffee inside the playroom and score some snuggle time. It's being able to be around cats and seeing them in their natural environment, how they are in a room, how they would be at your home, letting them choose you, letting them come up to you. We want you to be able to see the personality of the cat without making them come to you. This is their house until they go to their forever home. But Philius is about more than stray cat rescues and adoptions. Some people aren't ready to adopt. Some people have cats of their own, but they like to support our mission, which I love. I love that. And I have my regulars who come in just to have a little bit of kitten therapy every week. I love that too. It's not all about coming here and taking a cat. It's also about having a space that feels safe, having a space that feels really happy, really comfortable, really almost, you know, calming. With an estimated 60,000 feral cats living on the streets of Omaha, Phileas also hopes to educate the community on the importance of caring for these cats with their Trap, Neuter, and Return program, or TNR. We really want to help community cats. That's why we started our TNR program. That's really important. So many people don't understand how easy TNR can be when you have so many feral cats that keep producing cycle after cycle after cycle of kittens. Like 80% of kittens born every year are born on the streets and they don't make it. Either they're too sick or shelters are completely overrun. So yeah, setting a humane trap is really pretty simple and it helps these cats to not have to fight to mate and fight for their food anymore. Poor mama cats won't have to have litter after litter of babies. Um, it's really the most humane thing to do for them. We have a pretty interested population of people, you know, who love cats and would support a nonprofit like this where they can come and have a good cup of coffee, but also have a really great experience hanging out with cats and kittens, getting to know them. 
Right, hon. This is the adoption contract. Still, there's nothing better than when a feline finds his favorite human and his forever home. Are you ready to get your little guy? Yeah. My friend actually saw their page on Instagram, and we, like, in other states, we knew that they had cat cafes, but in Omaha, when they opened this one, we knew we had to come. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, those little paws. So when there were kitties here, I came and I played with all three of them and I liked him the most because he was the most energetic and he was kind of like attracted to me as much as I was to him. So I picked him. I think we got a good one. <laughs> here he's at least, you can see his tiny little face. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. 